Welcome to the AutoCAD 2011 PNID tutorial series. This introduction includes an overview of the PNID course. We will also take a look at the objectives of the course and you will be introduced to the instructor who will be presenting the lesson material. Let's get started by reviewing the overview of the course. This course is designed for users who are brand new to the AutoCAD PNID and users who are experienced with AutoCAD PNID and would like to review a particular area of interest. The course will cover basic features and functions in AutoCAD PNID that are used to create and modify a PNID project, project drawings, and project data. The foundation for the AutoCAD PNID application is AutoCAD. Therefore, the prerequisite for this course is that you have a basic understanding of working in the AutoCAD drawing environment. The course is composed of chapters which are broken down into individual lessons. Each chapter typically has between four to eight lessons which relate to the topic for that chapter. Basic concepts for AutoCAD PNID are described and each lesson within the chapter is presented using demonstrations for the features and functions relating to the chapter topic. To reinforce the material presented for each chapter, review questions and data sets are provided for reinforcing the lesson material. Each data set is an individual PNID project that includes multiple drawings relating to the lessons covered in the chapter. By completing this course, you will be able to work in the PNID project environment using the PNID ribbon, tool palette, project manager, and data manager. You will be able to create a PNID project. You can create and modify PNID drawings within the AutoCAD PNID project environment. Manage project drawings using the PNID project manager. You will gain an understanding of the PNID file structure and how to organize drawings within a PNID project. You will be able to add and modify PNID components. You will learn to add and modify basic PNID components such as equipment, pipelines, valves, instruments, and annotations. You will set up a PNID drawing for plotting. You will manage PNID project and drawing data using the PNID Data Manager. Data in a PNID project is a key element. You will learn how to access, view, export, import, and report data within a project. You will customize PNID project and drawing settings. Here you will learn the basics for accessing and changing project and drawing settings for customizing AutoCAD PNID to meet your specific project requirements. At this time, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Greg Hoover and I will be your instructor for this course. I have over 30 years of engineering experience which places my beginnings during the era of BC or before CAD. I began my career working as a draftsman, working on the drafting board, and then transitioning to using AutoCAD in 1985. While working, I attended night school and graduated with a Bachelor of Science in Civil Engineering. Recently, I completed my Master's in Engineering Management. And today I am working as a Certified Project Manager. While working, I have gained training experience by working as a CAD manager and as a department manager for, a for the development of PNID drawings. I have taught CAD courses as an adjunct professor for five years at a local community college and have presented PNID courses at Autodesk University.